Once more. Okay. Rolling sound. All right, rolling video. <laughs> it's stupid how excited I am about this, but I freaking am so excited. Okay. There we go. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is not a drill, but except for that it is exactly and only a drill. This is exactly what this is. This is the test, the podcast. Oh, you know what I should do is actually do the lighting that I work so hard on. There we go. Okay. So we'll see what this looks like. See if I need to adjust lights or anything like that. But we are going. This is this is the test. This is the test. Um, wow. This is the test of the Once More With Feeling podcast. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty freaking hyped. Um, I've been trying to set this up for a while. I got some lights. I wanted to do this kind of right. Um, got some lights. Um, got myself for a little setup to record. Um, I got myself, I don't know why I'm being secretive about that. I'm just recording on my phone, but it's a, it's a good phone. And I sprung for the, for the pro, the iPhone 11 pro, cause it's only pro level around here. That's all I do. All I do is pro level shnikes. Um, yeah, I haven't decided if I want to curse on this thing or not. Um, in real life I tend to, but I don't like that I do. So maybe I won't. So maybe I won't profligate this, this, uh, this thing that I don't enjoy about myself. I will put up a fake. Wow, already 10 seconds in here and I'm already trying to uh, to fake you out. To give you, a, give you a false message of who I am. I don't know. 10 seconds in here. I do usually curse in real life. But I, again, I don't really like that about myself. I wish I didn't. wish I got the point across without having to do that. Ish. Without having to do that ish. Yeah. Wow, I should look at the time. When we're starting here, because the whole point is to test this for a certain amount of time and see how flippin' difficult it is to actually talk for as long as I plan on talking for, which is kind of crazy. It's crazy that I have this amount of stuff in my bedroom to just set this up. Like, literally, the reason that I'm doing this is because I was like, you know what, I have all of the equipment to do this, so why am I not doing it? You know? Um, most people, when they make a podcast also, like they have an intent, like a reason for making one. Like they're like, well, I'm an, I'm a news podcast or, or I'm, I'm the funniest guy alive or I'm going to interview people. And I, um, yeah, I didn't do that. Uh, I literally just was like, you know what, uh, in an effort to, uh, just create more. I'm going to shove a mic in front of my face and see what happens. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, if you're looking for something, uh, you know, that has uh, important stuff in it, this is not the right place to be. But if you're looking to just, just you know, be a little voyeur, be a little, whoop, just peek into my life a little bit, uh, maybe this is the place for you. I don't know. Uh I don't really care. It's not for you. It's for me. Actually, it is for you. It's for you and for me, but mostly it's for me to just make stuff because I want to just get out of my own way and make stuff. I have so much stuff that enables me to make stuff, so why don't I make stuff? Why don't I do it? Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm making stuff. This is the stuff podcast where you make stuff. Um, I, that would feel like it would be like a, um, a podcast in which I like knit or something. Um, that's not this podcast. We're not going to actually physically make anything. I'm just going to look at a lens and pretend that I'm not as awkward as I actually am. Um, I kind of want to go over there and check something, but I also want this to be like a real thing. Um, and in a real thing, I wouldn't get up. I wouldn't do it. It wouldn't be prudent. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't, it doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't, it doesn't even matter 
if it is actually playing in the room. It doesn't. Oh, it isn't. Okay, I took my headphones off, and it isn't playing in the room. I was worried that it was all feeding back, and because I can't disconnect. I can't relax. That's another reason why I'm doing this podcast, is because I literally cannot relax. Um, I have a problem where I am tense all the freaking time, and I don't ever just let go and let live. And I think performing used to do that for me when I used to get on stage, because I'm... For those of you who don't know, uh, I used to play on stage and go uh, go up and just play music. And then one of the things I loved about music was that when I would go up on stage and play, you're just you're free falling, more or less without a parachute. Or it's kind of like you jumped out of an airplane, but your parachute, you threw your parachute out first, and you got to catch up to that thing, or you're not going to make it. Um, that's kind of how it feels. Like you could have an amazing, it could be amazing. You get the parachute, you land. Uh, it's an amazing story to tell people later and you love it. Or um, it's the day you break all the bones in your body and probably die. <laughs> That's kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. Um, I don't know why that metaphor is the one that I decided to go with. You know, it's a happy, happy go lucky podcast. That's what we do. Yeah, um, that's not how I used to sing when I sang. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. I didn't do that. I feel like the more I talk, the more I just want to ASMR. Everything I just want to ASMR. I want. I really. The more, the more I talk, the more I want to just AS, ASMR this whole thing. I just want to ASMR. ASMR, ASMR, ASMR. Anyway. ASMR. I need one more sip because this is really good. And then and then we're done with the ASMR for a little bit. ASMR. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know what I was going to talk about. Oh, the thing I wanted to talk about, one of the things I wanted to talk about on here is um, how bad... Uh, this movie that I just saw recently was, it was so bad. It was really bad. That was really Crystal ish Anyways, so bad. I just like straight up copied that. Anyways, um, I'm not original. This is terrible. I hate myself. Okay. Anyway. Um, anyway. <laughs> first catchphrase. First catchphrase of the podcast. Anyways. Um, anyways. <laughs> I literally the second one I didn't I didn't do on purpose and I hate that I didn't do it on purpose because you think that I would be thinking about it but I didn't think about it I just did it and that's the thing that I did uh so anyways I I I went and saw this movie oh and it was so bad I it was oh god it's so bad. The movie was so bad. I'm not even going to tell you what the movie was because until later, just to bother you, because you're going to want to know what this movie is. And that's how I get you to listen to this whole thing is that I'm just going to like wait to tell you the name of the movie. But the movie was so bad that to this moment, when anyone brings up the name of the movie, I I get sad and angry at the same time because... I'm reminded of the fact that the movie exists. That it is even in existence and that it, that I wasted, that I cannot get those two hours back of my life. And it was one of those movies too where it is that long. It is actually two hours. Everyone says two hours, but it's actually two hours. It was like 120 something minute runtime. So it wasn't even like one of those, oh, whatever. It was like an hour and 15, no big deal, kid movie BS. It was like a legitimate two, probably about two hours of my life. And if anyone Googles the actual runtime and it wasn't that long, it's because it actually felt that long because it was so bad. Um, anyway, anyways, um, please, please, somebody, somebody let me know how many times I said anyways in this, uh, please, someone let me know. Keep, keep a count of the amount of times that I said anyways. Anyways, the name of the movie is Uncut Gems. That w- it was literally, literally so bad. It was so bad. It made me, first of all, okay, first of all, the reason that it was so bad 
the reason it was so bad is because it, okay, I, I'm so angry right now. I can't even talk about it. I need a second. I need a good 10 seconds here. Okay. Not really 10 seconds. Um, it was so bad. It was so bad because it started out. It starts out like it's like 2001 Space Odyssey. Like it's it starts out like what planet? Are, oh, are we gonna go into a pl the planet? Oh, oh, whoa, we're traveling through time and space into a gem. And oh, well, how long has we been on this planet? And then it, it doesn't stop doing that. But then it also tries to be a mafia movie. So imagine if like a guy, if like Robert De Niro tried to do a 2001 Space Odyssey and that's Uncut Gems. And the thing is, is that that sounds actually kind of kind of good. Like it sounds like it could be good, um, but it's not. Because I would actually probably watch Robert De Niro doing 2001 Space Odyssey, but it's 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 not that. It's that, but it's not that. It's it is Robert De Niro in space with with yeah. So it's that, but not that. Um yeah, so imagine the level of stress of a mafia movie, but it never pays off. Uh ever in the whole in the whole movie it doesn't pay off. Um you're sitting there and it's guy and this is major spoiler alert. Honestly, I kind of already spoiled the whole movie just by telling you it's Robert De Niro in 2001 Space Odyssey. But at this point, I'm going to really spoil it. So, um, But it's okay that I'm spoiling it because you shouldn't say it because it's really bad. Uh, anyways. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Okay. Anyways, the movie was so bad. And the reason it was so bad, other than it, Robert De Niro being in space, was that... Uh, other than it being Robert De Niro in space, other than that, it was bad because yeah, so many reasons. It gives you so much stress through the whole movie. Like Bella and I were literally sitting about my girlfriend and I, my girlfriend and I were literally sitting at the edge of our seats the entire time, but like not in a good way. Not in a like, oh, oh I really hope he makes it. It's in a like, I don't really like this guy. Or anyone he associates himself with. Like, everyone... Is, that's the thing about the movie, is that if there was one... Even if it's not the main character, I get that. That's artsy. Okay, whatever. But the thing is, even if it's not the main character, you have to root for somebody. You want... You need to want to have somebody win. Even if they lose. Even if they lose, you still have to want someone to win. And I didn't want anyone to win. I wanted them all to lose. A lot. Everyone, I wanted all of them to lose everything they had because it was, they were all so terrible, terrible people. Um, there was one, the grandpa was kind of chill, he, he, but he got fucked over, so that was lame. And he was like a cameo. He wasn't even like a real character. He was just kind of there. Um, so the grandpa was kind of chill. Everybody else I hated, though. Um, yeah, it, I hate the main character that Adam Sandler plays. Um, I hate him. I think that was the point, but I still feel like I hated him. Um, so I hated him. Uh, he has gambling addiction and he's terrible and he just basically throws his entire life down the drain for some hooker. Um, yeah, don't do that. Um, just life advice, don't do that. Um, yeah, a little aside, don't don't throw your life away for a hooker. You know, probably not. Probably not for the best. Um, yeah, so uh, the long and the short of it is basically he throws his life away for a hooker because he has a gambling addiction and... Uh, uh, ASMR, ASMR. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the thing is, so you'd think that you'd root for his family. That's what I was trying to get to. Uh, okay, my brain turned off for a second there. Uh, anyways, with that, the <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm actually having fun. This is actually kind of fun. Okay, the real thing though is, is that like he. So you don't like him, which is fine. You don't have to like the main character. That's fine. I get that that's artsy and whatever with the film. And then, so it's Robert De Niro. He's, it's Robert De Niro in space, but it's not Robert De Niro in space. And then at this point, essentially, what happens after that is that this guy throws his life away for a gambling addiction. And there's a space theme playing in the background for the whole film. I don't know why. Um, and then 
uh, towards the middle of the movie, you're like, oh man, maybe I'll maybe I'll root for his family because his family's really going through it because he's just going to throw his life away for this hooker. And you're like, damn, fuck that hooker. And also, fuck him. Oh, I just cursed twice. Um, okay, I guess I'm doing that now. Um, yeah, I guess I'm doing that now. Anyways, um, anyways. <laughs> so, so freaking stupid. <laughs> anyways okay so anyways you think that okay so i don't like him and i don't like i don't i don't like him uh and we're in space uh but we're not in space we're in new york in the 90s which is a weird time uh yeah so you think that you it's, that's fine okay i don't like him so whatever but the reality is is that you don't like anybody because eventually you start to learn about his family and his fa- and you kind of want the family to get away from him because the family deserves a better life because he's a pos but but here's the kicker his family his family sucks all of them suck bad all of them yeah so the freaking the freaking daughter is a B to everyone. And I get it. She's a teenager and moody and whatever, but she's kind of a B to everyone. So that sucks. Um, beyond that sucking, um, yeah, because at first you think it's like just to him, but she's kind of like that to everybody. And you're like, oh, you just kind of suck. It would be cool if you just did it to him, but you kind of do it to everybody, so you kind of suck. Uh, the son is a douche. Um, not totally his fault because his dad is so bad, um, and he just wants to. He kind of just wants to like be like his dad, um, so it's not really his fault. Um, welcome to me psychoanalyzing uh, his family. By the way, this is a psychology um, podcast uh, where we talk about um, where we talk about. Uh, fictional characters and their psychology. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Anyways, his son sucks. His son's kind of a douchebag. And then his the wife, you're like, okay, maybe it's just maybe the wife's going to pull away from him. And when the wife pulls away from him, at that point, they'll be able to restart their family and it'll be fine because they'll be away from this douchebag who has a gambling problem with throwing his life away for a hooker, also in space, but not in space. Um, but then... You start learning about the wife, and you kind of get these little windows into her, and then at one point, he, try, he wants to make up, and all this other stuff. But she sucks. Like, bad. Like, she's not fun to be around at all. Like, you start talking, she, you hear her have other interactions with other people, and she sucks. So you're like, she sucks, he sucks, the son sucks, the daughter sucks. Uh, there's, You know what? I think they had a third kid. Uh, he kind of made like a weird cameo, but he didn't say anything, so he might be worth salvaging. Um, yeah, the grandpa's kind of cool. Um, again, he gets screwed, so you're like, wow, he's the only guy I kind of like uh, for 30 seconds, and he gets screwed immediately, pretty much. Uh, so that sucks. And then all this, he owes he owes some guys some money. And so you think, okay, I got to pay this guy back. Okay. And so the whole movie is about him paying the guy back, paying the guy back, paying the guy back. I got your money. I got your money. I got your money. I got your money. And then at the end of the day, he gets the money. But lo and behold, the guy he owes money to is a part of his crappy little family. He's like the uncle's, he's like the uncle, but not the uncle. I think he's married in. He's like the married in uncle. And he's also crap. So... Everyone in the movie is crap, and you don't like anybody, and then basically it just sucks, and you're anxious for two hours, and then at the end, that even though if for some reason, I won't ruin it, because it's kind of like one of those, it tries to be like M. Night Shyamalan, Shyamalan Ding Dongs, Uh, it tries to be like an M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong ending, but it's not, but it tries to be, so I won't ruin it, Um, but the ending also sucks, so just know that also. If for some reason you don't trust me, but who knows? I mean, in all honesty, the thing that with all these kinds of movies and stuff like that is that, like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, it'll win an Academy Award. <laughs> it will, though. It will because that's how that stuff goes. Because that's how 
because that's how Academy Award stuff goes is that they pick the stuff that's the most weird. It doesn't matter. It's as long as it's the most weird, um, usually it wins. Cause it doesn't need to be really artsy. It just needs to it needs to pretend to be. That's deep. Um yeah, most I don't really like any of the stuff that wins awards anymore. I don't know if that's because I'm an old man, uh, or if that's because that's real life, or I don't know. But I like I haven't wa- like I like to make stuff. Then again, I'm nobody. I'm a guy who just started a podcast today. But hey, listen to me. I know the real I know the real things. I know how I know how it should really be. Um anyways, anyways. Uh yeah. I don't I don't watch the award stuff. Um I think it's kind of I think it's kind of crap. And now I'll never win one because somebody will find this 20 years later. Um, when I'm, when I actually make something of note that is worth, uh, winning an award for, uh, and I'll never win one because they'll be bitter that I said this about them and they'll be like, oh, really? You don't think it's, you don't think it's worth it? Okay. How about you never get one? And I'll be like, oh man, I never got one now. I'm like Leonardo DiCaprio who really deserves to get an award. I don't know if he has at this point. Um, but he, I, last I checked, he did not. Um, and that's mostly because I think he said something a long time ago and now they don't like him as a person even though he's like kind of a great person. Um, anyway, anyways, um, so I don't watch awards. I don't really care. I like what I like. And that's kind of how I live my life. I don't let, I don't let the stupid awards people to tell me what to like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch it. And I'm gonna tell you, apparently now I'm gonna tell you uh, you guys um, and gals, um, whether it's good or not, and I'll tell you right now, Uncut Gems is not good. They tried. I will say that you know, uh, for it's not because Adam Sandler's a bad actor. I think he did like because I got to give that Adam Sandler's really good. He did really good. The thing is, the acting wasn't that bad. There was a where it wasn't really much to act out. It was like the one premise of the whole movie was that he was crappy and like his family was crappy so there's that um there's that anyways now that i've talked about uncle gems for way too long um i also wanted to talk about um yeah i want to <laughs> so um i i uh this is i don't do segues that's not ever going to be a thing on this podcast it's never going to be a thing in my life because i never do it i have add if you can't tell already and i just i just go it doesn't stop I could just, I just go the whole time. The whole time I go. All the all the time until I until anxiety cripples me and I hit the ground and I fall asleep. And then I wake up and I go again. Anyways, uh so I was at In and Out and this thing was like hit me. It was kind of weird. So I was driving through In and Out because that's the staple of what I eat because it's like it's just easy and delicious and for some reason in my brain, I have it that it's it's healthier than other fast food. I don't think it factually is, but in my brain, it feels like it is. I don't know. Maybe because the lettuce feels fresh. But that's one. It's iceberg lettuce. It's a little bit of iceberg lettuce. And I don't even get the tomato. I take the tomato off because tomatoes are kind of gross. So, and then I grill the onions. So probably, probably most of the nutritional value out of all the vegetables is gone. Um, but I feel in my bones that it's better for me. So I get it instead of other things. Um, don't know if that's true, but I feel it. So I do it any, and so, and I was about to say, so I, anyways, I was driving and I go and I drive around, I drive around in and out and I place my order and I'm like, cool, I'm really excited about this. And then I get around and I go to the window and when I get to the window, the guy He's busy. I don't know why they have the guy at the window doing doing dishes. So I pull up to the window and I'm like, okay, he's doing dishes. I don't know. It's weird, but okay. I don't know why, but he's doing it. So you think it'd be the guy? He think he'd be one of the busiest guys. He's at the window. He's taking everybody's orders as they drive by and whatever. But in between the cars, they have him doing dishes. That kind of seems kind of lame to do that to him. But anyways, they're doing it. So so he. He's doing the dishes, 
in the corner and then he sees me pull up and he's like, oh gosh, I gotta stop doing dishes. I gotta get his money. So then I, he, I, he opens the window and he takes, I, he goes, oh, you gotta, you gotta double double with whatever. I, I should be, okay. Yeah. So he, oh, I, I got, you got me a, he got me a double double with a uh, extra toast on the bun and uh, no tomato and uh, chopped chilies and animal style. Uh, okay. All right. Here you go. By the way, that's the best order. Um, so you're welcome. That's the best way to order from in and out. Chopped chilies. Toast on the bun, animal style. No tomato because that's gross. Uh, if I didn't already say it, extra toast on the bun, key, super super key, so you don't get a soggy burger. Uh, yeah, that's the best way to order. Oh, I think I said animal style. Yeah, you can take pickles or no pickles. If you like sour boys, you leave pickles on there. If you don't like sour boys, you take them off. If you like spicy boys, you add chilies. If you don't like spicy boys, you take them take them off. But if you don't like spicy, don't at me. Uh, anyways, so I pull out. Anyways, so I pull around and I go and I get the food. If I don't get the food, I'm talking to the guy. I'm talking to the guy and he's gonna take my money, but he just washed the dishes and for some reason, his hands are still soaking wet, dripping, dripping wet. So I I don't really I don't really think about that in that moment. I'm just thinking about like I gave this guy my money, um, and I don't know why I always feel really awkward at at these things at the at the drive throughs I always feel kind of awkward because it's like I want to talk to you and be like a real human being but you don't really want to talk to me because you talk to 100 people a day um so I just try and make it efficient for them so anyways I pull anyways I pull out um my money and I had I have cash because cash money um anyways no so I have cash because I just happen to have cash usually I'm a card guy because it's quick it's efficient we get in we get out we're done and we're done um but I don't I didn't do that. So I hand him cash. Anyways, so I hand him cash. He gives me, he takes the cash, whatever. And then he goes to hand me back the money. It's only change. It's only just change left because I gave him close to exact change. He gives me three quarters. He gives me three quarters. He goes, here's, here's, here's your 75 cents. And he gives it to me. And I didn't realize that his hands were so... I, I don't know how to describe this to you guys uh, without it being like shitty, but it's... Tr I just cursed again. Anyways, without it being lame, but it's true... Like, I don't want to criticize him. It's not his fault. They're having him do... It's they, Somebody else told him to do dishes. But that's a dumb job to give the guy who has to handle the money because he hands me, like, a half-wet receipt and then three soaking wet quarters. Like, I didn't I didn't actually know that metal could get that wet. It felt like they were... They had, they had water inside of the metal, and when it hit my hand, the water came out. It was a small puddle. It was a small lake inside of my hands and I, I was grossed out I didn't know what else I mean it wasn't his fault they have they have him doing dishes whoever they is I don't know but that guy that guy or gal who made him do dishes that's a, that's silly because he's handing things to people and if you're handing things to people and your hands are soaking wet all the time because they have you doing dishes it's kind of gross also, you're touching cash and then going to go do dishes. He didn't wash his hands before he went back to doing the dishes. He just went straight back to doing the dishes, which I get because you don't have time. How do you, how do you have time to wash your hands and then get back to the dishes? And then you gotta get and then there's one more car pulling up because In and Out always has a line. You know In and Out always has a line. In and Out always has a line that is so long, but somehow they keep you moving fast, and it's because that guy doesn't wash his hands. And he touches money and then he touches the dishes, and then you're like, oh, that's kind of gross. But that's what happens that's what happened to me and this is my story mtv cribs welcome to my crib no this is my story real life i had a lake in my hand from in and out and i need you to know that that's what happened to me um i really didn't expect to go on about that that long to be honest with you i really didn't and now i'm actually going to look at the time oh wow uh we said we kind of started this at 8 15 8 17 it's 8 45 Wow, we did we did we did a freaking half hour already. A half of an hour. Half of an hour already. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at that. We got the little streamy boys back there. Little streamy boys streaming around. Just streaming a boot. Streaming a boot. Streaming a boot. Streaming a boot. Da 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 do. I'm just gonna read text in front of you because that's that's rude and that's how I like to live. I don't though. I'm actually usually really polite, but right now I need to read a text. 
because this is just a test of the, this is just a test. This isn't even real. This is me just, just seeing what it's like, how, how I'm living. This is how I live. In case you're wondering what's in this cup, you'll never know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read my text in front of you because it's super rude. It's actually about possibly having a guest on. Because that's the thing. is I started this thing. And I don't even know. Am I going to have guests? Maybe. Am I going to just sit and talk into a camera? Probably. Uh, am I going to, I don't know, do anything else? Probably not. Probably just one of those two things. I'll either be by myself or I will be or I will not be by myself. But right now I'm by myself. So, but I might not be next week because somebody just texted me about it. Uh, my friend who also makes music, um, who's like the sickest producer around, honestly, one of one of the sickest producers around that you don't know about, but you should know about, named Quinn, uh, K-W-I-N, at him. Yeah, he might be on next week. That's kind of sick. Anyways. Uh, girlfriend also texted me. I got to get back to her. Um, and the other dude I texted about being on the podcast did not respond. But that's okay. That's all right. That's all right, honey. All right. Well, you know what? I did the 30 minutes I wanted to do. Uh, so I'm going to be real about that. By the way, this little iPhone 4, because I'm shooting on my iPhone, is the one that we're going to be using for looking stuff up and maybe making phone calls during the podcast because I just figured out how to do that a second ago, and that was sick. Um, yeah, so that's a thing that you're going to be able to, yeah, you know. Uh, anyway, anyways, uh, I'm going to end it on anyways. So yeah, uh, podcast test done for today. Cool. Bye. Once more. Dum 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 d